Swimming the freestyle allows the swimmer to swim in any style. However, the most common stroke used is the front crawl or Australian crawl. In competition, swimmers are subject to limited restrictions on their stroke. When swimming the freestyle, some part of the swimmer must break the surface of the water throughout the race, except at the first 15 meters after the start or after the turn. It is the responsibility of the stroke judge to observe that the swimmer is not submerged after the 15 meter mark and that the swimmer does not pull on the lane lines or push off the bottom of the pool. Upon completion of each length, the swimmer must touch the wall. The swimmer may turn in any manner desired as long as contact is made with the wall at the end of each length of the race. If the swimmer misses the wall while turning, it is permissible that the swimmer go back and touch the wall, either by reaching back with the hand or sculling back to touch with the feet and then continue on with the race. If the swimmer misses the wall and fails to return for the touch, it is a violation and the swimmer is disqualified. The swimmer has finished the race when any part of their person touches the wall after completing the prescribed distance. The swimmer is not allowed to touch the wall while being totally submerged at the finish. This is a violation. Reviewing the rules of the freestyle, it is important to remember some part of the swimmer must break the surface of the water except at the first 15 meters after the start or after each turn. The swimmer may turn in any manner. If the swimmer fails to touch the wall at the turn, they may go back to make the touch. The swimmer is not allowed to pull on the lane lines or push off the bottom of the pool. For more information about officiating swimming, go to usaswimming.org.